Hi kids, uh, I'm going to teach you a very basic technique of a uh, wax resist painting. So first and foremost, you will need uh, your oil pastel. Your oil pastel will be a form of uh, wax replacement because of the oil uh, ingredient in it. Okay, so you just draw any random shape to uh, just try it out. So what I did here, I draw a circle and I paint the inside of my shape and you notice that the water or the paint is resisting the drawn area okay so now we start gonna draw uh, or sketch off our superhero or superheroine uh, now if you have no idea of how to draw you can always go back to google uh, or surf uh, the internet to find some inspiration so what i did here is i i started off uh, with a very basic shape of a circle for the head okay i did some research on my own on google so i have a bit of idea so from the head i decide to put in put on the helmet and another circle or oval shape for the body so on and so forth okay so the most important part here is when you do your sketching do not press your pencil okay when you press your pencil you are making a lot of unnecessary marks that will make your artwork very very uh, very, very untidy okay so I'm doing a very quick sketch you can see that I'm still erasing here and there to finalize my drawing So for this superhero or superheroine, you will need to uh, plan your artwork in such a way that your A4 paper able to fit the whole body. Okay. So as I was drawing the leg, I noticed that I couldn't I couldn't fit the leg while it is standing or the human is standing. So I decide to to make my superhero jumping or or fly or flying, holding on to a sanitizer and. <laughs> having a mask on uh, and don't forget to put a uh, background okay so you want to add a bit of storyline to your artwork okay so i put in uh, the virus uh, virus images Okay, so now we're gonna work on the wax resist drawing. So you just pick any color uh, from your oil pastel or your crayon. But I would advise that you choose a color that is visible. That means you can see very clearly. So don't do not choose colors like like peach colors, a uh, light brown, yellow, because uh, these colors tend to blend uh, very easily to the background. As our background of the paper is uh, white in color. Okay, so. I'm outlining very very neatly you don't have to rush okay so every single line on the drawing that you did with your pencil you have to outline very thinly okay thinly and clearly now imagine if you are drawing uh, your oil pastel and you leave a lot of uh, gaps in between the lines just imagine you are just leaving uh, an open gate for the water to escape yeah so your watercolor will not really stick within the the area that you're supposed to paint oops <laughs> i'm quite delayed here got distracted by my nephew okay finishing up a few more you can fast forward the video if you really have an idea of what you need to do okay so the next thing you want to do is you want to thicken up the lines of the outer line of your character just the outer line okay so when you thicken up this line it makes a focus so it makes the viewer or whoever looking at your artwork uh, to look at the drawing that you want to focus on. So your drawing will have a lot or your artwork will have a lot of uh, things to look at. But what you want to focus. So if you want to focus on the superhero, you outline on the superhero only. 
Okay, but if you want to focus on the virus, you focus on the and uh, you outline on the virus only. Okay, so only one object or what we call here a subject matter uh, that you want to focus on. Alright, so now I'm outlining my background, which is uh, basically just the virus uh, flying by my superhero. Mm -hmm. Okay, almost done. Almost done. So just use one color. All right, just use one color will do. Okay, let's focus on another technique uh, of watercolor, which is called wet on wet technique. Okay, so basically you want to wet an area with water, clean water, and then you use a wet brush, dab a bit of paint and dab or paint over the wet area so you can see that the water actually kind of move around within the space okay and i'm dabbing a bit of tissue because it's too wet yeah it's okay it's okay you can always dry it and then dab it again with other colors so that technique is very good if you want to blend multiple colors together okay but uh, bear in mind uh, the color mixing might get a little bit too uh too messy Okay, and then you will turn your artwork look a little bit darker. Alright, so I already painted my helmet earlier earlier before this, before my sanitizer. So, I did a layer of green. So, once the, that layer of green is already dry, you can put another layer of green to make a darker tone. Alright, so a darker tone of green over the, the, the first layer of uh, green. Okay, so it creates like a shadow to make it a little bit more realistic. So the best would be uh, what you want to do here is, you know, dry, make your artwork entirely dry and then you can add another layer of the same color to make it darker. So I put it a bit more touch up on my eyebrow. Working on the lines. I'm putting darker tones of blue over my dry area my dry area of the mask putting my green over the dry area on the helmet on the cape so don't forget to color every single part of your artwork now i'm adding on a bit of um, effect effect on the background so it feels like the the virus are moving towards him you know like flying or going away or something like that like, like a motion kind of effect so i'm using blue but i'm not just using blue alone i'm layering it with darker blue on top of my light blue so you see it adds a lot of drama effect on it oh and if you don't have a watercolor kit which i'm using right now you can use your a poster color or water color that is available in a tube all right so you have to squeeze it out and put it on a palette okay which is not listed down as any of the material needed today but you can use that material all right it works the same way you just have to use a little bit more water to make it more diluted all right all right i'm almost done okay just the final touches and once you're done take a picture just like what i've taught you in your hbl and upload on sls looking forward for your work